Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Secrets of the Stones. Although it is rainy right now, I will be discussing a stone that comes from the sunny Caribbean, Larimar. Larimar has another name, Pectolite. This stone appears in shades of sky blue, light greenish blue, and has markings that look like clouds. It's composed of sodium, calcium, silicate, and copper. Copper is the mineral responsible for its blue color. This color is the same as the Caribbean Sea, from which it is the source. Larimar can only be found on the Caribbean island of the Dominican Republic. The particular shade of blue represents liberation of the soul. Larimar directs its effects to the throat. It has a strong affinity for the ancestral sinews, which are a group of five muscles that hold the bony cavities together and help the body maintain an upright posture. Larimar's effects can also be felt in two of the extraordinary meridians, the belt channel, pictured to the right, which holds the memories of past traumas and tragedies, and the Baomai channel, an energetic loop which connects the heart from a point beneath the base of the sternum with the kidneys at a point below the tailbone, known as Governor Vessel 1. It is able to access the marrow to reprogram DNA and cleanse contaminants from the constitutional level. Larimar is the primary stone for regulating the chi or life force energy. It is a beneficial stone for rebuilding after difficult times, such as when we are grieving the loss of someone or something to which we have become extremely attached. It supports changes that become apparent after reflecting on the impact of addictions or habitual attitudes. Its effects can be felt particularly on conditions originating with the emotions, such as headaches or mood swings, that occur after a loss. So there are many functions and uses for the stone. Let's see what they are. This stone has a triclinic crystal structure and is used to affirm the young fire temperament, which is associated with the small intestine and triple energizer meridians. The young fire temperament people are idealistic, intelligent, and creative. Their intelligence is not pragmatic. They are unconventional. They have high energy and thrive under pressure. They have noble ideals and beliefs and will self-sacrifice for those beliefs. This type has a propensity for physical or intellectual challenges and are often described as being spontaneous and intuitive. They make up their minds easily. When their fire burns too hot, this can impact the liver and cause the liver wind to rise upward, which can lead some, sometimes to violent or angry outbursts. If their manic fire burns too low, they can become depressed. This type also has a tendency to dramatize their highs or their lows. Because they are high in fire, if they get sick, they might have a high fever. They might have hypertension or frequent evacuation. And they love stimulants. Larimar regulates the liver and gallbladder chi, 
and moves chi stagnation. It can be helpful for relieving the symptoms of liver or gallbladder chi stagnation, which include migraine headaches, sinus headaches, constriction of the diaphragm, menstrual pain, a feeling of energy rushing upwards to the throat, strong emotional states, chronic mood swings, indecisiveness, or poor growth in children. As I've mentioned before, the ancestral sinews are five major muscle groups that hold the body in alignment. The first two sinews form columns on the front and back of the body. I've outlined these in green. The back column is composed of the paravertebral muscles on either side of the spine. These muscles attach the back of the head to the chest and the pelvis. The abdominal rectus muscles located on the front of the body comprise the front column. These attach the bottom of the thorax at the sternum to the top of the pelvis. The remaining three ancestral sinews form a type of sine wave through the body, connecting the front to the back. The sternocleidomastoid muscles of the neck attach the back of the skull to the front of the chest at the collarbone. The diaphragm muscle underneath the ribcage connects the bottom of the chest at the base of the sternum to the lumbar spine. And the psoas muscle connects the sacrum to the front of the femur. Larimar effectively relaxes the ancestral sinews and soothes tension and pain. It is beneficial for alleviating st stiffness and tension in the neck, paravertebral, paravertebral muscles of the spine, lower back, diaphragm, uterus, especially during menstrua menstruation, and the chest. Larimar clears dampness and heat from the lower body and clears urinary tract and yeast infections. It strengthens the immune system by directing energy downward to the kidneys along the circuit of the bowel my meridian. This stone is particularly beneficial for those who suffer from mental constipation or general inability to let go of an idea or emotion. It is beneficial for those who are grieving the death of a loved one. And it is especially supportive during the self-examination process that follows when a person is attempting to shape a new identity after losing someone close to them. There are many practical applications for this stone, so let's see what they are. While the 12 primary meridians carry the knowledge of our priorities in this life, the low or connecting channels represent our distractions and inconsistencies or how we separate ourselves from our true priorities. Pictured to the right is the low channel of the bladder meridian. The bladder meridian runs on either side of the spine and you can see that the little channels diverge from the main channel. Our blood contains the spirit. It has the function of circulating habitual thoughts and emotions, which keeps them alive in our consciousness. These habitual thoughts and emotions can distract us from the vitality of our spirit. When the primary meridians encounter a challenge that is insurmountable or a serious illness, a low channel is created to help manage the unresolved emotional states that might arise. Low channels are associated with chronic pain, 
because they store repressed emotions. Spider vein slumps and varicose veins might appear near the pathways of the 12 primary meridians when one of these necessary extra channels have been created. Spider veins represent a full low channel, which is acting as a reservoir for storing unresolved issues. Fullness of a low channel might point to an unresolved issue that is lying dormant. A deficiency of resources needed to combat an internal struggle or a lack of will to change can sometimes be the root cause. In these cases, the problem lies beneath the surface but still exists. On the other hand, small lumps near the channels are indicative of emptiness of a low vessel or one that has become full and has had to empty itself back into the primary channel. If the blood in the low channel becomes weak to the point where it empties back into one of the primary channels nearby, some signs and symptoms may start to manifest. These include chronic muscle cramps along the pathway of that channel or unwanted changes in the internal organs that lead to conditions such as Crohn's or heart disease. This is not medical advice, but if you have an acupuncturist that you go to, their, their treatment for this will be to, to prick slightly, superficially, the spider veins and allow the blood to come to the exterior to treat the fullness of a low channel. To treat an empty low channel, an acupuncturist will bleed the small lumps superficially and then warm the points with moxibustion afterwards. Moxibustion encourages the movement of energy out of the primary channel and back into the reservoir channel But to genuinely treat the low channels, one must ultimately face their repressed emotions or thought patterns and work to resolve them. Stones that contain iron and copper, such as hematite and malachite, can influence the blood in the low channels. They are used as gua sha tools to break up stagnation and accumulation. Larimar is a copper containing stone. It can be used to scrape the lobe connecting points, which helps resolve rigidly held attitudes. The functions and locations of the lobe connecting points are as follows. The low connecting points that address grief are lung 7, pictured on the top left, broken sequence, and large intestine 6, known as bearing pas passage. Lung 7 can be found on the inner edge of the wrist, in line with the thumb, in the groove closest to the styloid process of the radius. Large intestine 6 is on the wrist, in line with the index finger four fingers above the bony protuberance of the styloid process of the radius. The lower connecting points that treat worry or obsession are stomach 40, abundant bulge, and spleen 4, grandfather, grandson. Stomach 40 is located on the outside of the lower leg halfway between the outer prominence of the ankle bone and the crease of the knee, and two index fingers below the tibia. Spleen 4 is located on the inner aspect of the foot in the depression beneath the first metatarsal bone, as pictured on the top right. The low connecting points that reduce anxiety are heart 5, penetrating the interior, 
and small intestine 7, branch of the upright. Heart 5 is located one thumb's width below the wrist on the little finger side, and small intestine 7 is located on the little finger side of the forearm, midway between the elbow and the crease of the wrist, in a hollow just beneath the bone. The low connecting points that calm fear are bladder 58, soaring upward, and kidney 4, great bell. Bladder 58 can be located on the back of the lower leg, halfway between the ankle and the crease of the back of the knee. One thumb's width to the side of and below the depression in the center of the calf muscle, as pictured on the top left. Kidney 4 can be found on the inner ankle in the depression formed by the junction of the Achilles tendon and the heel bone. The low connecting points that decrease anxiety are pericardium 6, known as inner pass, and triple energizer 5, or outer pass. Per pericardium 6 is located three fingers width above the center of the inner crease of the wrist, pictured on the top right. It is located between the two tendons and is in line with the middle finger. Triple Energizer 5 can be found on the midline of the top of the forearm in a depression two thumbs width above the wrist. These points are associated with the fire meridian and the heart and small intestine meridian are also fire meridians. It is interesting to note that these points all alleviate anxiety. The low connecting points beneficial for calling anger are gallbladder 37, bright light, and liver 5, woodworm canal. Gallbladder 37 is located on the outer leg in a depression slightly more than one hand's width above the highest point of the outer ankle bone. And liver 5 is found on the inner side of the lower leg, slightly more than one hand's width above the prominence of the inner ankle bone. As you can see, these two points are on the same level. One is on the outside and one is on the inside. Two special low connecting points help release deeply held emotional conditions. They are conception vessel 15, turtle dove tail, and governor vessel 1, long strong. Conception vessel 15, or REN 15, is located on the midline of the abdomen in the V-shape formed by the junction at the base of the sternum and the rib cage. Governor vessel 1, or do 1, is found directly beneath the base of the tailbone. Finally, one low connecting point can address pain all over the body. It is the great low connecting point of the spleen. Spleen 21, also known as great wrap, or great low of the spleen, can be found on the side of the torso, one hand's width beneath the crease of the armpit between the sixth and seventh ribs. Larimar is cooling and can harmonize the expression of strong emotions. An amulet worn with its stone touching the central notch at the base of the throat, known as conception vessel 22, moves liver chi stagnation in the throat and can encourage emotional expression. The amulet worn with the stone touching the center of the chest, known as conception vessel 17, can provide a sense of security that there are sufficient resources to overcome life's challenges. The abdomen, um, when placed on the abdomen, this stone 
helps reorient the structure of the thoracic cavity. The specific point is conception vessel 15, which is located on the V shape where the base of the sternum meets the ribcage. Placing the stone here has the added benefit of stimulating the thymus gland and strengthening the immune system. You can also place a tumbled Larimar stone into a vial of massage oil to enhance a massage that is designed to relax the muscles of the spine. When combined with Cursicola, Larimar increases assimilation of calcium in children with poor bone growth. When combined with Apatite, Larimar helps clear dampness and heat from the bones, such as with arthritis, and helps build rebuild cartilage. Larimar is a primary stone for smoothing the flow of liver chi, but it is rare and somewhat expensive. Another stone, peridot, pictured above, is similar in function, but is more appropriate for clearing liver fire, which presents with extreme outbursts, migraine headaches, redness of the face, irritability, a bitter taste in the mouth, and tremors when severe. The, there are two points that are beneficial in all cases for either liver chi or stagnation or liver fire. They are pictured above. Liver two is more beneficial for liver fire and it is located between the first and second toes. Liver 3 is more beneficial for liver chi stagnation or irritability, and it is located slightly above liver 2 in a tender spot formed between the junction of the second and big toe. Larimar is too soft to use in an, in an elixir. It contains copper, which can oxidize when exposed to water. So a potentiated clear quartz crystal can be used in its place. Another video I've done on this channel is under the foundations playlist. And I discuss all about how to make a potentiated clear quartz crystal elixir with any stone. So an elixir, a Larimar elixir, made with a potentiated clear quartz crystal is beneficial for chronic headaches, especially those that occur after an emotional loss. It is also good for rigidly held habits and ideas. Larimar can be cleansed in warm running water and placed in the sun to recharge. It is very reactive and easily takes on the vibrations of others. So warm water is needed to clear them. And here are some pictures of Larimar. Well, thank you for joining me tonight on Secrets of the Stone. I hope you found this video informative, and I hope you're having a lovely evening. And I'll see you next time.